Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company, makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com. Serve Pro of South Redlands, Yukaipa, providing 24-hour emergency service to any size residential or commercial emergencies like water, fire, mold, or storm damage. Professional, insured, and bonded. Serve Pro of South Redlands, Yukaipa. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you. I'm food critic Alan Borgen, member of the Southern California Restaurant Riders. I've been finding the best restaurants in the Inland Empire and Southern California for over 27 years. This is my job. This is my passion. Let's dine out. Hi, I'm food critic Alan Borgen. And I'm Trisha Jansen. Welcome to another delicious edition of the Let's Dine Out Show, where we show you some of the best restaurants in Southern California. You know, one thing I thought we'd do a little differently is have two restaurants kind of in the same area so we can save money. So we're givers, saving <laughs> money on gas. So uh, Trisha, what's on the menu next? On tonight's show, we first travel to Corona for some authentic dishes from the Michoacan region of Mexico at Eduardo's Mexican Restaurant. Then it's off to nearby Norco for some mighty fine tasting grub at Badlands Barbecue. Specializing in the authentic dishes from the Michoacan state of Mexico, Eduardo's Mexican Restaurant in Corona has been serving delicious family favorites since 1994 and is one of the most popular Mexican restaurants in Corona. The large dining room has lots of Mexican decor on the walls, while Mexican music fills the airwaves. Under the guidance of Marta Cortez and her family, Eduardo's is a wonderful addition to the Mexican dining scene. Alan, what I love about this restaurant, Eduardo's, is that the owner, Marta, she just really has a passion for authentic food. And so what you see here is very authentic, her little twist on them, but very authentic recipes. Right. You want to get right into it? Oh, I'm starving. Oh my gosh, we're <laughs> That's popping. That's your line. We're popping buttons, man. I'm telling you. First dish. Chilequiles. $10.49. Now, I'm going to preface this that we are probably going to mess up the names of these. <laughs> ingredients, but we're going to do our best. It's entertainment. I love chilaquiles. It's one of my favorite breakfast items. It's a traditional Mexican uh, breakfast and everybody has their own version and theirs is particularly good. It's crispy tortillas with your choice of red or green sauce or half and half if you're like me. I like a little, little of each. It's topped with queso cojita and your choice of egg and I love that easy over egg so that when you cut it the, the just yolk just out. goos. I love it. Comes with rice and beans. You know, I think they do a particularly good, uh, good job with their chilaquiles here. I definitely like the green the best. I love the flavors in their green sauce. I, th I thought it was good, but I thought it was too mild. I like the red one. What else is new? We well, disagree. But if you like a little more zest to it, the red one. Also, I would ask for more sauce. To me, it was a little bit dried. You know, when they mix it up with the sauce, uh, the tortilla chips, it kind of gets a little mushy, but I'd ask more sauce on it. And adds a little more oomph to it. I thought it was perfect. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I liked it. Then next we had sopa talapeña soup. Woo, I'm doing good, man. Okay, so this is a chicken broth. They pour it. There's rice in it. There's shredded chicken, tons of beautiful chicken breast shredded, carrots, queso fresco, uh, garbanzo beans, and then it's topped with sliced avocado and a little spice, or a, a Mexican spice called espazota. You know, this soup, the chipotle in it is smoky. So you get the soup and it has that um, chicken broth, but then you get into it and you're like, what's going on here? Smoky chipotle, the cheese is creamy, the avocado's cool, there's so much chicken and rice and veggies in it. I absolutely love this soup. If I, if I want soup, this is the soup I want. And I definitely agree. You can get it in a small little cup, a bowl, or a big giant I want a trough got. of it. Get the big one. <laughs> also, what's really nice is the Ugh. back of the throat heat. So you eat it, you taste it first, you get the smokiness and then it hits you in the back. It's delicious. It's delicious, but then the avocado cools it. So yeah, it's not hot. Yeah. Eh, it does. Next to Carnitas, this is $14.99. This is a Michoacan, again, this is the original from that area. It's marinated pork, 
slowly simmered in lard. And what happened, what it does, it takes all, it's not greasy at all, but at it gives all. it an incredible flavor. Then they take it and stick it on a grill. To give it a little, kind of little crispiness to it. Yeah. Spectacular carnitas. This is, I think, one of their highlights of the restaurant. This is the one I would come back here again and again for. Um, it's just delicious, perfectly seasoned, a great dish. Comes with rice and beans. Perfect. And tortillas. I agree. The When I first tasted the flavor, I, I seriously was like, Wowza! The flavor is so intense. That's Spanish for wow. I know. <laughs> That's Spanish. But I asked the owner, you know, how are they getting this flavor? And, you know, she was telling me that they, they cook it in lard. And I was like, well, I love lard. You know, I love it. And it wasn't greasy. That's it's not part. greasy at all, but the flavor is very intense in a good way. Good stuff. Also, the rice and beans, I really like them nice and dry and firm. They have flavor to it. Good stuff. I would agree. I, I have to say, I don't really like rice and beans normally, and I love theirs. Right. So, you know. Next up, chili relleno, $13.99. This is two very large uh, roasted poblano chilies. It's filled with a cojita and jack cheese. It's egg battered and then fried. Absolutely delicious. It's covered with a, it's a, it's a tomato salsa. It's called salsa ranchero, big, lots of big onions on it. And I thought this was delicious. I absolutely love chilarianos. And everywhere, every time I go to a Mexican restaurant, I have to get one. I don't care if I'm full. I don't care what I've gotten to eat besides that. I want to taste it. This was by far the most spectacular version of chilarianos. And it definitely was a combination of how much cheese they put inside the, the pepper, how much uh, they have the all the smothered of onions. The, the two cheeses really make the Absolutely. Most people just put one jack one. and that's it. No, or, this is both. Or they look anorexic. Yeah. The, the, and these were full. Yeah. I, they were delicious. Can't say enough. Next, we had barbacoa, 1349. You know, barbacoa is, is a term for meats that are cooked slowly, and usually it's big chunks of delicious beef. These are very uh, hearty, it's a hearty dish, and it's cooked in a, in a red sauce. It seems like it has a chili base. They wouldn't tell us everything. It had um, uh, garlic, uh, Mexican oregano, onion. I think California the, uh, chili. Yeah, a little bay leaf in there, I think, of garlic. No, no bay leaf. No bay leaf. It, it tastes like it. It tastes like yeah. it, though, doesn't it? And they slow this, they slow stew this meat, so it's almost like Sunday dinner, Mexican style. <laughs> All I it's know, so it, good. It was an intense flavored sauce. I thought I, I tasted bay leaf, I tasted cinnamon, but there wasn't any. But that shows <laughs> what the complexity know? of all the ingredients when they cook. And that's what a good dish does. Absolutely. Lots of layers, and that's keeps you guessing. Perfect dish. So this is served with rice and beans, and it comes with cilantro, uh, cut up, and diced onion, and of course tortillas. And you can make tacos out of it, which would be delicious. Messy, but delicious. But for me, I like to just eat it like a stew. Yeah, you know, it, it, it doesn't. You could dip the tortillas in it, you know, to sop it up. But delicious. Next came the torta, nine ninety nine. This is a toasted tallada roll with avocado, lettuce, tomato, mayo. Had, we had El Pastor, you get your choice of mm -hmm. meats. And uh, what else? And just lots of meat, basically. This is a nice sandwich. I like the toastiness of it. To me, it lacked a little flavor. I've had them before where they had sliced uh, jalapenos, pickled jalapenos. And I, you can just ask for it, but that would, I would definitely want that. I think just the addition of the uh, jalapenos, the pickled jalapenos, would make a big difference. You get that taste to it, you get a little bit of a crunch, yeah. a little bit of the heat, but that would really make the sandwich go overboard. That's, I didn't think about that. I think that's a great, uh, that's a great critique because I love the, the brightiness of something pickled. It does go well with that. And you think a regular sandwich has pickles yeah, or something like it. Yeah, mayonnaise just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, it needed so, a little something, right. so I agree with that. But the El Pastor was delicious, absolutely good. Next, we had Camarones Adelita. Now, this is a kind of a healthy dish, so I kind of like that. And again, the owner is very passionate about serving authentic food, but also healthy options. This is $17.99, and it, as you can see, it's a beautiful presentation. So this is about 10 jumbo shrimp, fresh zucchini, jalapenos, onions, broccoli, corn. It's grilled corn that they cut off the cob, not frozen that they no. throw in there or can fresh corn, tomatoes, and it's grilled. And it just has some seasoning, served with rice and beans. But this is so, this is like summer afternoon on a plate. I mean, it's so fresh. You can feel good about eating it, but it's full of flavor and so filling. You could easily it, share it. But it was light too, it wasn't overpowering. No, no, very light it's flavor, but, but the flavors, the natural flavors of that fresh, fresh quality is coming through. Now, if you belong to PETA or vegetarian, <laughs> you may not want to hear about this next dish. This is a patiata. This was $3, <laughs> it's for two people. It comes on a real, it comes sizzling on a real Beautiful. middle platter, uh, kind of like fajitas. Cast iron, yeah. It has carne asada, grilled chicken breast, four shrimp, that's grilled, chorizo, grilled queso, which is a cheese, yep. green onion, and a grilled jalapeno. This has a little bit of everything. Yeah. Bring the tortillas on and make tons and tons of tacos, burritos. And oh, again, yeah. it comes with the rice and beans. 
Um, my only suggestion, I think, would be the cheese. It's a very salty cheese. Yeah. This was on both sides. I would have it grilled on one side to give it a little texture and color. And, and let it melt a little let, bit. And let the top, you know, be by itself. Yeah. Because it can't be a little salty. But then again, with all the other ingredients, it probably would do well. Yeah, if you put if you crumbled it and put it in a tortilla with the Rather meat. Rather just eat it by itself. Right, yeah, for so. sure. Okay, Trisha, uh, the hardest part of the show. Yes. What's My your favorite. three favorites? It's so hard to pick because I love everything, but I have to say, since we came here to taste test, I've been dreaming about the sopa talapina soup. I love that soup, so that's number one. The chilaquiles is absolutely spot on. And I'm going to say the carnitas. I don't think I've tasted yeah. better carnitas. What about you? Mine's a little different. Not right, a copycat. Well, the carnitas, we'll start with the carnitas is excellent. I would definitely come back for that. Okay. The chili relleno, I really, really, really like it. I yeah. love the combination of the cheeses. That's what other restaurants do not do. They add one or the other, usually one, she one cheese and that's yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. This is great. And the barbacoa, that was another sensational dish. That put over rice with some veggies. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Trisha, nothing better than a great Mexican you know, meal. Oh, absolutely. And we have plenty of it, but <sighs> one thing we did forget, you are the dessert princess. I am. So we have a special dessert made just for you. Oh, look at that. It's called El Primo with El Fruto <laughs> and El uh, Milko Granola. and Granolio. Oh. <laughs> so that's your dessert. It's so pretty. So here, eat up. This is and, the That's um, the official term on the menu? That's yes, it's right on there, yeah. Oh so my god. While you're eating and stuffing your face, I am, you, all of us are going to Norkel to Badlands Barbecue for some great grub. Good mm, stuff. This is delicious. Is it? Don't ask me to I share. I like my Spanish. Isn't that a good name? It's fabulous. We all did great. Way in a corner of a shopping center just off the 15 freeway in Norco is a delightful restaurant called Badlands Barbecue. As you enter the large urban country themed dining room, the aromas of the hickory and applewood smoked meats smacks you in the face and reinforces your culinary senses that they are in for a real barbecue adventure. The menu is large and varied and owner Greg Wilcott and his staff really try to make your dining experience a memorable one. We just made it back from Corona, not too far away, yeah. and uh, about an hour and a half from the freeway, but uh, <laughs> it's not too bad. But um, I love Norco. Yeah, and did you know, Alan, that Norco means North Corona? So we're really? I didn't know that. We're almost kind of in the same city. I thought it meant a lot of horses. <laughs> that too. I think the horse capital of the world, I think. It is. It's the horse capital so. of the world. But they also have some great restaurants here, and one of which is Badlands Barbecue, which actually you told me about. A lot of your friends told you about it. And, yeah. uh, you know, we rely on Facebook and friends to tell us about the restaurants like this. So let's just dive into let's it. Let's get right into it. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Okay, let's start with the first one. It's the Pig Candy, $7. Yeah, you, now you had mentioned people on Facebook had told me about it. Now I'm sort of known as the Bacon Queen a little bit. And so the Pig Candy, everybody was tagging me in pictures. And I'm like, Pig Candy? What the heck is that? Let me tell you. Okay, so they have Applewood Cured Bacon. They rub it with a nice rub. It has some sugar in it and some spices, a little bit of heat, some black pepper. Then they smoke it till it's done and put maple syrup on it and let it caramelize. When they say pig candy, we're talking it's pig candy. This is jerky meets taffy. And I mean, it's tasty. The bacon has a great flavor to it, obviously. The maple syrup is caramely and gooey. And then that pepper, it just gives that kick. I loved it. Well, it's real sticky and it's, it's a little hard to take off sticky. the aluminum foil. Yes. But you get six pieces, so just grab it and as fast as you can. Yeah. It's delicious it's for good sure. Stuff. Next came the barbecue nachos, $10. This is a real messy feast. <laughs> this is a huge mountain of corn chips homemade here. Mm -hmm. It's got sweet baked beans. It's got mac, um, it's called a cheese mac sauce, right. which is three cheeses, Velveeta, Jack, and cheddar, sharp cheddar. 
It's got melted jack cheese, bacon crumbles, pico de gallo, sliced jalapenos, pickled. We got sour cream and a serving of choice of meats we had with brisket, big chunks of brisket. Oh. I love it because it was sweet, it was spicy, it was the textures. It had a little bit of everything, but it's messy. And the key thing is grab it quickly because this will go very quickly. It's enough for about four people. Absolutely. Messy is the, is the operative word and you always bash me for saying something's messy, but it really is. This is something that you really, you, you know, everything here you feel like you're just, you need to take a bath afterward. Oh no, the, this next dish is beyond <laughs> messy. This is like, ah. I call it earthquake. This is called the <laughs> Badlands Sammy $11. This is a brioche bun, packed high, I mean really high. Smoked brisket, pulled pork, jalapeno cheddar, hot link, barbecue sauce, habanero jack cheese, coleslaw, and fried onion rings. This thing is a four-hander, forget the two-hander. This is probably one of the largest sandwiches. I don't know how people can eat this, we just dove into it, but this yeah. is so messy, but it's a kind of messy that's really good. And I think even princesses like it. I did love it. You know, it is one of those things that I think you almost have to deconstruct it, you know, kind of t take some of this stuff oh, out. Oh, no, 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 it's so fun. To be neat, oh, oh, neat hanging out of your- You're not here to eat. Speaking of neat, most of the people here are who? Men. Men. There's a I, reason for it. I will say something. Ladies, if you're single, come here at lunchtime. I'm telling you, it is like man city. <laughs> But because barbecue, that. you think of barbecue, you think of just it pick is. it up like it's Fred not, Flintstone. It's not dainty. You don't cut things and everything. No, That's woofy. Yeah. That's ugh. Eh, it's delicious. So. Okay, the next one. Wait, it's called the Oink Burger. I, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a reason I got this one to review. Oink Burger. Okay, $11. This is a half a pound. It's a premium blend. They use um, black Angus chuck, brisket, and short rib. So it always makes, whenever we go to a restaurant that has this blend, it makes the burger so tender and juicy. juicy. I love it. It's just a great flavored burger alone. Then it's topped with pulled pork, smoked bacon, coleslaw and onion, onion straws. Then it, um, it has a brioche bun that's grilled. It has a chipotle mayo and it's absolutely delicious. There's so many textures and layers going on here. Just like the last one, the Badland Sammy. You know, first of all, meat is a theme here. If you don't like meat, you're not gonna like this burger because it's so many different flavors. You've got the juiciness from the, from the burger and then you have that pulled pork that's smoky and delicious. And of course the bacon's crispy and I love the onion straws. It adds a little bit of crunch. We'll talk about those a little bit more uh, later. This but came with a side of slaw. You get your choice of, yeah, sl of the side. you can pick a side. On the other dish prior to this, the Sammy, we had really good fries. They're almost like battered fries. They're battered fries. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, so. yeah the coleslaw was good. I don't think I it was like absolutely, I loved it, but it was good. It was nice and soothing. Yeah, soothing, so. there you go. <laughs> Next came the Carolina pulled pork plate, $13. This is again, a massive portion of pulled pork. Yeah. Now the pork is, is a shoulder, it's put a rubbed on it. Mm -hmm. It's smoked for about 12 hours, and then it's gently pulled apart. Then they a little more rub on it for flavoring, and then some barbecue sauce when it's served. It came with, um, we chose, a, a corn on the cob, but yes. it's chipotle corn on the cob. I thought it was excellent. It was mayo yeah. with, chipot with chipotle and a little Parmesan. It comes with cornbread. And we also had it with, what Baked was the other beans. thing? Baked beans. Beans are really nice. They're, they're sweet and savory. It's deconstructed. They, they get, you know, buy it in a can, but they redo it a little bit. I really like it. Dr. Duck, I love the corn. It's grilled corn, so that's another thing. I think when you grill corn, it brings out the natural Flavor. sugars. Very and it's sweet, very too. sweet. You were saying that you're, we had two different pieces, and yours was a little spicier than mine. Oh, yeah, the, the mayo, the, the it has chipotle mayo chipotle. is a kick to it. Yeah, so it, it has that, but it's also sweet, yeah. so it's a, just a nice blend. So I think it was delicious. I don't think we've mentioned, too, that there's two uh, barbecue sauces that they make here. One is called Memphis Magic and one's habanero ch chipotle. And they both have a pretty sweet profile. You know, one has a little bit more of a heat to it, but they're both basically Yeah, the habanero sweet. chipotle's ketchup, got much more. Ketchup based, yeah, very stuff. good. Then we had the baby back pork ribs, $24. This is a full rack. Now this is smoked for about four hours, slowly smoked, it's rubbed first. It was served with cornbread, delicious mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. real potatoes, real. and a fantastic uh, jalapeno bacon, mac and cheese. I love the smokiness of the ribs. I like smoke, and to me, this is some of the best ribs I've had because mm -hmm. of the smoke. The sauces, they don't compete with it. They really complement the smoke. So you taste the sweet, a little bit mm -hmm. hot, and you get the smokiness. And just excellent ribs, really meaty. 
I, I just love this dish. I agree with you. I thought everything was perfect on it. And I thought it was kind of funny that I didn't get the mac and cheese one to, to, uh, to critique, but it was delicious. Everything about him that I like here is that his portions are very generous. So often with smoked meats, it, the, the cost of them is so high and they give you such small portions. Here, everything is huge. I mean, they're just, the prices are good and the portions are very the generous. The quality is good. Everything oh, is made yeah. here. It's fresh except the beans. Yeah. But uh, what I like about it was it's all different. It wasn't just the normal type of a barbecue fare. Everything had a twist to it. I like a little spiciness to yeah. it. It wasn't oh, horrendous. If you don't like spicy, you'd still like it, especially the mac and cheese. That was really good. Okay, so next we did smoked beef brisket dinner, $15.99. This is far, four large slices of some of the best brisket. I keep saying that every time we go somewhere, but you were saying about the ribs with the smoky flavor. I took a bite of it and I was like, wow, I mean, like you said, the, the sauces don't compete, the rub doesn't compete. You really don't even need You're sauce. You're tasting the, the essence of the meat and the smokiness from the, from the woods that he uses. Plus, it's really tender. You can use your fork and it just cuts right through Absolutely. It. So again, it's hickory and applewood smoked. It's about 14 hours, smokes it all day. It's melt-in-your-mouth tender. Um, the flavor was so intense and beautiful. I would say we had sweet potato fries with this. Um, I like that because they do sugar and cinnamon on them, so they're a little sweet. Nice twist. So, of course, I like that. And then we did onion straws that were so good. They're like chunkier. They're easier to eat than an onion ring. And he uses a little cornmeal in the in the mix. And it wasn't real greasy. They're not greasy. And they serve that with a little chipotle, that chipotle mayo. Mm -hmm. So you can dip them in there. Very good. Perfection. Next. The salad, the smokehouse salad, $10. I was so sad we weren't doing a salad when I we came here. I saw me, their salad. I want to make sure I hear this whole thing. <laughs> OK. You know I love a salad. And I love barbecue meats. And we tried this both ways. The first time I taste tested it, I tried it with the brisket. The second time we had it with the smoked pulled chicken. So this is a mixed greens. It's, um, it has corn, that sweet corn, white corn that they, that they grill. They cut it off there. It's cubed cucumber. I love it. Not a slice, but a chunk. Tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, black beans, jack cheese, a generous fan of avocado on top, and then crispy tortilla chips. And then they make a ranch and they add their, um, their Memphis barbecue sauce to it. You know, I love the salad. I was surprised. The sweet barbecue flavor of the, of the dressing, the crunch from the chip. It had everything, you know, every point. I'm always like, it needs a crunch. Everything needs... except one thing. What? Flavor and eye appeal. No. I thought presentation compared to everything else. It needs to be a flat bowl, something flatter, a bigger presentation. The way it was served didn't thrill me. And when I tasted it, it was just like, eh. It was just a bed of lettuce, you know, kind of thrown together. I didn't like it. That's all. No big deal. I liked it. <laughs> but she's a female, so she'll come here just for the salad, and I'll eat the good stuff. <laughs> okay, Ellen, I guess the salad wasn't your favorite, so what were your three favorites? The meat ones. <laughs> <laughs> the Badland Sammy, I loved it. I mean, it was messy, but the flavors, the textures, it was just a great, great sandwich. Okay. The Oink Burger, spectacular burger. Again, it had flavor, it had texture, it had everything a good burger should have. And again, I love these sauces. I just smother everything with it, even though it doesn't need it, but it adds to it. Yeah. And the third thing was baby back ribs. I love the smokiness of it, the beautiful meaty. It was just perfect. It's really hard to pick, but I'm going to say the pig candy, just because, you know, I have to. I'm the bacon queen. It would be just be oink, sacrilege. Oink, oink. oink. And I, I, I'm not picking the oink burger. I'm going to say the smoke. Uh, smoked beef brisket. That brisket is no, just to die for. And I'm going to say this salad. Oh, no, 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 no. Because really, it's difficult. Out of all the salads you've ever had? No, I'm not saying it's the best salad I've ever had. I'm saying that I appreciate a good salad somewhere, and I think if you want a salad, you can get one here. I've got to learn to respect your opinion. <laughs> way off. Questions or suggestions for the Let's Dine Out Show? Contact Alan or Tricia or visit letsdineoutshow.com. Well, as you can tell, we don't agree on everything, and that's kind of <laughs> what we're about. We both have different opinions, and so do you. So it's up to you now to go to these restaurants, and you become the food critic, and let us know what you think. Until next time, this is food critic Alan Borgen. And I'm Tricia Jansen. Happy eating, everybody. Back to the salad. <laughs> You, you mentioned the croutons. Oh, see, that was there are the best no part. croutons. There are or tortilla, the tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Uh -huh. See, I don't even know what's in it. No, that was good. Crunchy. I just but think there needs to be a. I, I, it needed some excitement. My body wants me to eat salad. I said this last show. My your body, body needs is more than that. No, your body needs more than that. For the love of God, woman. <laughs> but you just ate 10 pounds of, of, of the pork candy. No, a pig candy. I want it. It's addicting. Wow.
Let's Dine Out. Good evening, I'm food critic Alan Borgen. And Let's I'm Joe. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I can't That's eat why there's more men here. I can't eat pink candy all day. Oh, you did a good job of it. <laughs> all day, 24 hours a day. You could do it. Oink, oink. <laughs> My pants are tight. <laughs> Mine too. Let's Dine Out is made possible by support from Food for Life Baking Company. Makers of over 60 organic, all-natural sprouted baked goods, as well as gluten-free and vegan products. Food for Life Baking Company, dedicated to better health since 1964. Foodforlife.com ServePro of South Redland, Yukaipa, providing 24-hour emergency service to any size residential or commercial emergencies, like water, fire, mold, or storm damage. Professional, insured, and bonded. ServePro of South Redland, Yukaipa. And viewers like you, supporting local public television. Thank you.